What up is Marcus? I have Haven here. We're going to be going through some rookie would you rather. Would you rather have, example, like Laporta versus Kincaid? Which one would you rather have at this point? But we're going to go through a couple trades here right away that I saw that came across my uh, screen here. We have Tank Dell versus two uh, seconds and two thirds. Um, it, 224, 2024 seconds and 224 thirds. At this point, I'm taking Tank Dell. I think Tank Dell looks like. I, we've seen that these undersized wide receivers, whether it's Jordan Addison or even Devonta Smith is a little bit undersized, thin, thin wise. Uh, we've seen a lot of these slot wide receivers start to succeed and weight doesn't matter as much and size doesn't matter as much. So I think Tank Dell, I am taking Tank Dell. I am going to take that versus having four basically lottery picks at trying to get a Tank Dell. <laughs> and so I'm just going to take him at this point. Uh, we have Austin Eckler versus a 2024 first that is late. This is one of those classic, I want to win a championship. I'm looking, I don't have a good running back two or maybe even a running back one and I have a running back two. Maybe I have uh, Jameer Gibbs or maybe I have B. John Robinson or maybe I have, um, the list goes on and on for a, a running back that in, in your RB2 is a huge drop off. Then I'm okay trading away my 2024 own first to get Austin Eckler to fill that spot and try to get that championship run. Let's do some either ors here. Dalton Kincaid or Sam Laporta. About a month ago, we thought that Laporta was easily taking over Dalton Kincaid. And in fact, when you looked at previous to the year, we thought that it was the opposite. Kincaid was better than uh, Sam Laporta here. Hi, sweetie. Um, and so, yep, she's, I don't know if you can tell. She's probably, you can't probably tell. <laughs> I don't want to piss her off. She's happy right now. So uh, I'm actually going to take Kincaid here. I think it's a slight margin. Dawson Knox could be a problem there. Sam Lapora has Amon Ross St. Brown. I mean, he has uh, Jameer Gibbs. He has Jared Goff, which is a little bit lesser quarterback than Josh Allen. I just think that Dalton Kincaid is a little bit more talented, a little bit more talented than Sam Lapora. So if you were to tell me right now, if I had to pick one in Dynasty, I'm picking Kincaid, but it is by the slightest of margins. I think that these two are back-to-back -back in rankings. The next one, I think is going to be a little bit easier. We have Bijan versus Jameer Gibbs. I am still taking Bijan Robinson. I understand that Arthur Smith is an absolute dumpster fire and i think that arthur smith arthur smith needs to be gone i think that atlanta goes and gets a quarterback whether it's kirk cousins my boy kirk whether it is somebody else whether it's even ryan Tannehill, i think or whether it's Taylor heineke i think that they are going to be a better quarter or better system without arthur smith and Bijan Robinson's not going to be stuck in that system forever. I think that Bijan Robinson is the better choice, and he doesn't have David Montgomery uh, breathing down his neck here. So I think that um, I think it personally that Bijan is the better running back here. But Gibbs has shrunk in that ground there quite a bit, just because Bijan has not performed up to that level that he originally was. And Bijan had a great week this week. So JSN or Jordan Addison? I'm taking JSN. I understand that Jordan Addison looks like the the tempting player to take here but Tyler Lockett is going to be moving on at some point here he's getting to that threshold of being older jo uh, Justin Jefferson's not moving anywhere and so I look at Jordan Addison and I'm like okay his ceiling is that T Higgins area the Devonta Smith area I want the next AJ Brown I want the next Jamar Chase and to do that you have to go after JSN who is the good who could be the wide receiver one I don't think DK Metcalf uh, demands that type of target share or that that type of um, re receptions of that offense. So I think I'm going to go JSN here, but it is close. I would rather have JSN though right now. But if JSN comes out next year and has a bad year, this could look like a foolish, foolish uh, either or. QJ or Flowers, I think this is easy. We're going to go Flowers. It's not QJ. QJ has been one of the biggest busts, and I've told people, I warned people pre, if you watch anything in the rookie thing, I talked about QJ, how I thought he was one of the biggest potential busts here, and that he was clearly not going to be one of the top two wide receivers. He was way behind Addison, and he was way behind JSM, and so this just shows. It doesn't matter. I mean, he was in the perfect situation and still can't get it done. Josh Downs or Tank Dell. I'm taking Tank Dell here. I like Josh Downs. I think Josh Downs is a talented, again, another undersized type of uh, wide receiver. Anthony Richardson will be back next year, which I'm not sure if that helps or hurts. I Honestly, Josh Downs, we'll see. Michael Pittman. Um, Michael Pittman's going to be there, we think. I maybe, maybe, I mean, he's a free agent, so maybe he ends up moving on. But I still think that Tank Dell is, I mean, he came up with C.J. Stroud. I think this is going to be a perfect situation for him and C.J. Stroud. We talk about C.J. Stroud. 
in Superflex, C.J. Stroud or B. John Robinson, this was preseason, easily B. John Robinson over all quarterbacks. One of the first times we had a positional player, not quarterback, in Superflex, ranked as our number one and ranked 101. And in this case, I am taking Stroud over Bijan. You have to at this point. C.J. Stroud looks like every bit of a real deal. And not only that, if, if he ends up being in this category where he is quarterback five, quarterback six, he will be drafted seventh, eighth, somewhere around there. And Bijan will not be. Even if Bijan was Bijan of what we thought he was going to be, he would not be in C.J. Stroud's category because C.J. Stroud is a quarterback. And in Superflex, we rank those quarterbacks so extremely high. And if he's valued as a Dak Prescott or a Lamar Jackson or anywhere around that area, then likely he's going to be ahead of B. John Robinson in the rankings for the next year or two. Devin A. Chain, A. Chan, sorry, I keep saying A. Chain. That's what it was named after for the longest time. And Jameer Gibbs, I am taking Jameer Gibbs. I think Jameer Gibbs has done enough. And A. Chan has already been injured, pro, injury proof, which is very scary. Uh, for an undersized type of running back. And, and Jimmy Gibbs under the 200-pound mark threshold as well. But Jimmy Gibbs just looks... I, I think they both look very good at the NFL level. But if you tell me which one do I... I Gibbs, higher draft pick. Gibbs being a slightly more talented. I'm going to take the favor over Gibbs over HN here. I'm going to do a rookie redraft system so we can go through this whole entire thing here probably in the next couple of weeks. Until then, peace out. Take care. We'll see you again probably tomorrow.